Yes! Look at that move! What a move that was! Welcome back guys to another F122 driver career mode video. It is time for the British Grand Prix. The UK Grand Prix is upon us right now. Unlucky last time out with Schumacher ruining my race. Side plot damage saw us not being able to get many points. None at all. Or some points. P8. Right. I forgot. But yeah, that was not a good result. We should be doing better. Uh, we could have done better having taken a grid penalty of course last time out. But Schumacher really ruined it for us. But let's see if we can make up for today um yeah the engine components are looking fresh so maybe we'll have some pace around the british grand prix the uk grand prix is of course one of the more difficult circuits considering the ai has some power around here still fourth in the performance and i think a couple elements came through like the fuel tank positioning has come through and gearbox improved materials finally the free upgrade that we've been going on about in the previous episodes has finally come through so that is great to see 2900 points of course so we'll see how the team invests that um and otherwise i think we're good so let's head closer to the british grand prix weekend and it's time for the F1 Grand Prix weekend around Silverstone. We did the Pirelli Hotlap event, struggled a bit with it, one disqualification because we exceeded track limits on our first run, but then afterwards we were able to complete it without exceeding track limits, but the pace just wasn't there. I missed the braking points a couple times, just didn't know how to brake, so we did lose a lot of pace halfway through the slalom, so unlucky for us, but we will take silver. 500 acclaim earned today, but that is now behind us. Time to go with mclaren to red uh the silverstone circuit not red bull ring that is later on i think but yeah the british grand prix is upon us let's see how many points we can score today and hopefully schumacher won't get in our way Welcome to qualifying around the Silverstone circuit and what do you know free practice has some rain and qualifying session is gonna be heavy rain this is gonna be incredible weather conditions so the qualifying session is gonna be wet but the race itself will be dry FP1 we did some laps it was really on the border between slicks and the inters so we did all our laps on the slicks but it turns out that it was not faster than the inters everyone else was faster on inters so yeah we were down in p14 so it's not really a representative lap but i think it kind of allows us to sandbag a little this weekend but yeah overall i enjoyed this circuit we know how this circuit works a lot better now and then of course the ai is going to be a lot faster than us so we'll see if we can defeat the challenge here today around silverstone um Heading out today in a very wet situation, it's probably going to be wet. Yeah, even Mark here is telling us that it's wet conditions. So yeah, we'll have to head out on the very wet tire on a dry setup mainly because if you guys take a look here at the race, it's not going to rain at all. It's going to be 23%, so it's going to be very dry. So yeah, that's what we're looking forward to. Uh, hopefully we can get a decent lap in on a dry setup. Let's see how what we do here. Very difficult lap right now. Whoa. It's so slippery out here. It's super wet conditions on dry setup. It's not an ideal condition here. Yeah. <laughs> Worst of the bunch here. Let's keep pushing here. I think I can push immediately for another lap. Oh, up to P16. I was concentrating so much on that lap. We're out of fuel. All right, we gotta go back in, get a new set of softs on, probably. Oh, P16 is close. Let's see if I make it out of here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, stay on it, stay on it. Oh, I think I did it, I think I did it. Let's see, P10, let's go. There we have it, P10, let's go, that was a decent lap, we're out of there. Struggled, very much struggled because we're on the dry setup, Latifi, Vettel, Albon, Joe and Schumacher are out. Let's move on to Q2 then. Let's see, first lap here. Oh, ah, P9, faster than Alonso.
Whoa, up to P10 here. Oh. Slipped, but hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. We're out of fuel as well, so new softs or fresher softs. Here we go. Oh, that was a stressful lap and a half. Ah, P12, are you sure? Darn. That soft or dry setup, not worth it. There we have it, we're out because we're on the dry setup, P12 by the end of Q2. So this is an exit, early exit. Stroll, Bottas, Magnussen, Lieberman and Gasly are out. But we'll see what we can do from P12. We're on the dry setup, so we should be relatively faster than the AI, I hope. I think they're all running wet setups anyway. So we'll see if Park Fermi rules are applied for them. I highly doubt it, but let's see how good these uh, Silverstone circuit is for us today. We return once again then to the home of British motorsport and the birthplace of the Formula One World Championship. It's race day here at Silverstone and it's time for the British Grand Prix. The 3.6 mile long Silverstone circuit is one of the longest of the season with 18 corners in the current layout. With average lap speeds reaching around 145 miles per hour, it's also one of the quickest tracks of the year. Watch out for cars taking the right handers of Abbey and of Cops flat out. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position. Edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Russell, Sainz, Charles Leclerc and Norris, Perez, Fernando Alonso, Ocon and Yuki Tsunoda, Gasly, the Vixen, Kevin Magnussen and Bottas, Stroll, Mick Schumacher, Guan Yu Zhou and Alex Albon, Vettel and Nicholas Latifi. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box. Ant, it's fantastic to have you with us here, but I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, I imagine they'll be starting to feel the adrenaline as they anticipate the rundown into Turn 1, a bit like preparing to go into battle. The unknown situation will bring nerves, but that's a good thing. It will keep them focused on the moment and on their surroundings as we build towards the start of the Grand Prix. It is the team's home race, so let's go. Let's see what kind of race we can have here today. Medium to soft is a strategy, they say. So let's start on the mediums and sprint it at the end on softs. Uh, drop our fuel a tad bit, and we should be good to go. Starting from P12 after an early shower um, out of Q2. Not expected, but we should be in with a good chance starting on the mediums mainly because we have the opportunity to move on to the hards if a uh, situation brings us to a point where we have to so there's more versatility to this track all right parking up we got nice heat in our tires just try to get a purple parking job there we go nice purple that's what we love to see. All right, let's get it. Silverson time. British Grand Prix. Five red lights, lights out, and away we go. Off to a stellar start compared to Gasly. We get the Alfa Tori early doors. Yes. Oh boy, big dive up to P8, I think. Move doesn't stick just yet, come on. Starting in behind Alonso, I'll take a P9 for now. We gained a couple positions. And we'll let's stay close to him. Come on. Also my fuel oh, nearly did track extension there. We're on track still. Cobb's corner where everyone gains on me, of course. Come on. Maggots and Beckers, let's get it.
Come on. Oh, I'm using a lot of fuel here. We gotta be cautious. Oh, I can really punch it there. Okay. I'm a little too cautious because of the wet stint we had in qualifying. Come on. Hmm. Not a smart move that. Come on Alonso. Copy mark. I'm trying. Ah, oh, that was not needed. That was definitely not needed. A little snap of oversteer there. All right, let's keep pushing. Cops, Maggots and Beckets is an opportunity to get close to these guys. I'm gonna be conservative on my ERS as well. I'm gonna conserve it for later. Yellow flag, yellow flag. There is a Mercedes retiring. Hamilton is out. The track is clear. Green flag. Let's go. One position gained as Hamilton retires. Is he retiring or is he in the pits? He's in the pits. Something must have happened to him. Not a retirement. Alright, we'll keep pushing here. Okay, be aware the grip levels are gonna start falling away soon. Okay, gap ahead is two point six seconds. Oh, Verstappen has fallen back. Come on. Get me close to Verstappen, please. Yes, I'm within DRS range. Let's see if I can hold it. Is there a problem with Verstappen or is he just slow for... I don't know, competitive reasons? Like he was competing against someone and then lost positions? I don't know. But I'll take the DRS, thank you very much. Needed that to stay ahead of Ocon. Let's get it. Yellow flag. Okay, another yellow flag. Down sector 3 here. It seems like it's a Ferrari. What's the Ferrari doing? Around the outside of Max Verstappen and the Ferrari. What a move. That was a move and a half. Thank you, Ferrari. Don't know what's going on with these cars today. Is that a retirement or is it just... Some kind of puncture or an issue, I don't know. It's the second car. First it was Hamilton and then it was the Ferrari. Hold on, the green flag is continuing. Nah. False alarm. No, he's continuing. That Ferrari is continuing and continuing to put out yellow flags. Okay, pit stops going up and down. People are moving on to the hards, I believe. I'm going an additional five laps. And I'm moving on to the softs. Oh, I'm under attack from Ocon and Co. Oh, there goes a Ferrari of signs. Oh, he's blue flags. He's P20. Yikes. He got lapped. The Ferrari got lapped. Come on. Now it's busy. Busy, busy. It is squeaky bum time. Now is when the laps matter. Alright, time okay, to box. How's my fuel doing? 
or P7 release, I think. We're in. Wow. Really puncture territory there, 74%. Let's see, we're gonna move on to the saw, so we should have some pace for the final session of the race, or final couple laps here. Let's see if we can get a couple overtakes done and maybe get ourselves into a very competitive position for the end of the race. 2.3, look at that! Oh baby, I love that. Love it from the team. Soft's on, gotta heat these up which will be relatively quick. Verstappen is coming across. We'll be right behind Verstappen. Hopefully some DRS and getting past him easily. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's see. This is looking like a very solid lab. Let's hope we get the final couple turns right. Come on, baby. Let's go, fastest lap. Yes it is, Heidi Lieberman with the fastest lap. Let's go. Verstappen's only three seconds away. Closing in on Paris here, let's go, let's go. Let's close in. This is our shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. Opportunity comes once in a lifetime, yo. Yes, look at that move. What a move that was. Whoa, that's some beautiful driving there. All right, that's it then. I think this is the best I can do. P7 is P6, right? Yeah, P6 on the fastest lap. That's the best I can do. I need a fuel save. Oh, Lance Stroll's out of the session. Excuse me, is that a safety car? He seems to be stuck in the middle of the road. I don't know. Okay, final lap. Final lap Here we go, final lap. Off to a splendid start after I scuff turn one. Okay, you're losing a small amount of time to the car behind. Just keep pushing. Gotta save my fuel. Alright, dump some ERS here. Try and stay ahead of Pettis, who's probably dumping his ERS as well as some DRS. Okay, gap ahead is six with five seconds. Fuel's looking okay right now. Alright, let's go. Come on. Oh, he's going on my inside and cops. No! Oh, that was close. He was still far behind me. His axles were nowhere near mine. Okay. Negotiated maggots and Beckus nicely. Alonso has dropped behind Verstappen now. That's it. Leclerc has stolen the fastest lap off me. Are you kidding me? Unbelievable. But hey, what a lap. P6. What a feat. Is, oh, I think Lando Norris might be on the podium. Let's see. Crossing line for P6 though. Yes. That's a decent race. Decent race for us. done a brilliant job, I must say, under some intense pressure to take a well-earned victory here at the British Grand Prix. Anthony, tell me, what was it that helped them achieve this success? I think that smart tyre management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. That combination meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tyres at all times. And here we are, a team that is no stranger to the podium, taking their place on top once again. A sublime race today and a stunning win for Ferrari.
All right, look at that. What a sight to see. Charlotte Clear stole the fastest lap off of us, uh, five hundredths of a second faster. Uh, yeah, on the final lap, Leclerc, Russell, and Norris on the podium. Yes, and McLaren is on the podium today. Verstappen, Alonso, Lieberman, Perez, Alco, and Sonoda, and Magnussen in the top 10 points. We are gaining on Mercedes here. We have scored 23 points and Mercedes only on 18, so we did gain 5 points today. But uh, further down the line here, Schumacher, Bottas, uh, Gasly, Hamilton, Joe, Albon, Latifi, Vettel, Sainz round out the finishers with Stroll not finishing the race today. Let's take a look at the standings then. Oh, Norris is right behind Lieberman. 12 point gap between the two McLaren drivers, but we are slowly gaining some ground on Russell and Perez. Hamilton, sort of, I would say. Uh, Verstappen and Leclerc jump the table here and go to the top. Constructor standings wise, we should be getting ever so closer to Ferrari because we did score some points, but of course, Ferrari had a marvelous weekend with a race win, so we're not going to gain too much, but we are slowly heading closer to the top three, so hopefully we can push a little higher as the races come and go. So yeah, that is it for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. That was a marvelous drive from P12 to P6. Stellar, stellar strategy and good tire management overall. So yeah, we'll see how things continue next time as we go to the Hungarian Grand Prix I think or it's the Austrian Grand Prix I think it's the Austrian Grand Prix so it's a home Grand Prix for us I believe so we'll see how things work out there if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you smash the like button subscribe using the red button down below hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as I upload next more F1 content will be coming up on the regular so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any of the live streams and also videos that I put out on this channel Thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Take care of yourselves. See you in the next one.